Straight stitch might be the easiest embroidery stitch that you can do. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it and give you ideas for how to use it in your next embroidery project. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Straight stitch is the easiest embroidery stitch that you can do. It involves just bring the needle up, bring the needle down, and it makes a little straight line. But even though it's so easy, it's also very versatile. If you're stitching a picture, it can be used in a lot of different ways. It can be used in leaves, it can be used as grass, it can be used in flowers, it can be used random to fill in shapes with light color density, it can be used as birds in the sky, it can be used to represent fur or hair. Once you get started with straight stitch, you'll find a lot of applications for this. You can see on the embroidery in this basket that in the petals, there's just tiny little straight stitches and these are just randomly put and they add just a bit of color and interest to that shape. And so that is one really fun way to use straight stitch. There are some variations of straight stitch like long and short stitch that's used in thread painting and satin stitch, which is a beautiful way to fill in the shape. Uh, those variations take a little bit more practice to do, but once you get started, you'll be able to do those successfully. So here's how you do straight stitch. Bring the thread up to the front of the fabric and then take the needle down and it leaves a straight line. That's all there is to it. Depending on your project, they might be neatly lined up and organized or they can be randomly placed at all different orientations. You can have fun playing with different looks. If your stitches are too long, then the threads might get caught and it might pull the base fabric or pull out. So don't have these stitches be too large. Long and short stitch is a variation of straight stitch where straight stitches are put directly beside each other so that they're parallel and they're all different lengths. These stitches are worked in rows to fill in shapes. So once the first row is done, then the next row will come and it will overlap with the first row. So where you have a short stitch in the first row, you have a longer stitch in the second row. This is a great technique for filling in shapes and blending with different shades of the same color. So that's all there is to basic straight stitch. To see more details on some of the variations, you can check out my other videos. But this is a great stitch and don't overlook it just because it's so simple. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.